everyone, how are you? Welcome to day three of SA's lockdown. Of course, did the usual, got up and checked the news report today. It took like an hour, so I couldn't believe how long it took. I grabbed these uh, magic sponges from Kmart the other day, so I'm going to get onto a task because I really want to clean the skirting boards and some of the walls we have in our corridors because as you might have seen the other day when I was vacuuming, there's just splatter all over it. Things get dropped in the corridor and drinks get spilled on the way through. So yeah, he desperately needed a clean. What I just didn't realize when I was doing it is how much work it was. So enjoy me scrubbing walls. Here is just, I was trying a little patch as per instructions. And then I decided I'd pair it up with the sugar soap because that's how my mum always used to clean walls. And then I did put more water in than this <laughs> just that the kettle ran out and i wanted warmer water so yeah now you get to watch a montage of me cleaning walls side note yes i am wearing my zumba gear because i figured this was going to be about as close as a workout as, as i was going to get today um and also on this jacket when i push my sleeves up they tend to stay and i know that sounds super weird but it's annoying to get your sleeves wet and having to keep push them up all the time so yeah of course then I decided just to clean the entire corridor and dust where I could and of course my vacuum cleaner came in super handy for this and then wiping over the door seals and then saw there was a lot of dirt at my son's door so I thought I'd clean that as well and then the corner of one of um, little cupboards that gets a bit grubby so I thought I'd have a go at that cleaned up pretty well and then of course I started having a look at all the corners of doors and where all dirty hands go and all the dirty prints and then I went on to my favorite thing of cleaning light bulb switches <laughs> which my husband thinks means I'm completely insane or I'm nesting not that I'm pregnant but apparently I did this when I was um, pregnant with Scott so yeah uh, then I thought I yeah was just gonna run around and do some of the vacuuming because I wanted to clean all the skirting boards and so I started in my son's room and then of course I found that my vacuum cleaner ran out <laughs> so it lasted for about eight minutes but it was on full power of course, pulling my son's bed off against the wall, I see this great big dirty mark here and I'm like, I just have to clean it, it's a wall. <laughs> so I started attacking it with another one of the dry razor things, well it's damp with the sugar soap and it started coming off really quickly which surprised me and it was really good to see. It actually shows up better um, on the camera than what it does when you're looking at it, I think because you're so close you don't see it, so yeah. So here is me going through it super, super quick. My son's bedroom is pretty much always tidy because all he ever does is goes in there to go to sleep and then comes out again but I just wanted to wash some of the clothes that he had in there. He can wash his own clothes, he's quite independent but I was on a roll and I asked for his permission to wash them and he said that was fine so yeah and then I'm just tidying up a few other bits. I got his permission to be able to do this in his room as well but also I wanted to vacuum and use my new Dyson to which he's like oh you're crazy but you know what just let mum clean and she's happy I remember last lockdown I completely pulled Scott's bedding apart because the bed that he has has slats underneath 
and it collects a whole lot of dust and other things under there I don't know it's very very odd so I took off the mattress I was going to wash all the bedding today and of course it's raining so I'll save that for another day and I'd previously taken off his other blanket and things and I'm just pulling the slats up here so it's easier to vacuum down the metal poles on the sides um, so I got a lot of the dust that was here you'll see there's still a whole lot of black marks they're actually scratches I did go over them with a wet cloth um, but yeah scratches aren't gonna move so and no one sees them so it's fine moving around to other parts of the house where again I was finding dirty spots and then I just kept recording everything because it looks so satisfying the dirt is there and then the dirt is gone how are you thank you so much for watching day three in Adelaide's lockdown um, I think it's Thursday <laughs> the bins went out last night I remember that much and it has rained pretty much all day so um, as you saw I've washed walls all day it was just one of those little tasks that I wanted to do which turned into about three hours um, and then I got stuck into a bit more vacuuming, so I'm using my Dyson and of course went to move my son's bed and saw So I thought I'm gonna clean it <laughs> And now I know why my mum used to always pull our beds out and clean the wall mm. So grateful for sugar soap. I use the Kmart magic scrubs as well. They just disintegrate really quickly I don't know whether it was just me or not, but I want to get some other brands and try them out. I, I enjoyed them, um, but yeah, I just found they were falling apart pretty quick, but I was scrubbing pretty hard as well, so yes. Um, I've no idea what I'm going to clean tomorrow. If you have any ideas, I have a list, but if there's anything maybe specific that you'd like to see, uh, let me know, and then I'll let you know if it's on my list or not. I, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what ideas I have. I'll see if you can think of anything yourself. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.